It started the same way most of this stuff starts, where we have a frustration, right? And we want to solve our own problem. You wanted to and share files. We wanted to share files, you and we were sick of IRC right. uh, and these where's kitties with Merck egg drop bots, and yeah. and 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 so Fanny just started writing his own thing. Hmm. And I think you know there were some other efforts, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, he, he was part of uh, two distinct hacker communities. One was ours, and one was Pound Hack, uh, and very open and very like let's collaborative. Let's help you figure these stuff out. And and so what was he like? Uh, man is an unstoppable force. Hmm. Uh, he is a, what I loved about the downloaded documentary that came out a couple of years ago was how much focus there was on Fanning hmm. and his personal experience huh. and his personal relationship. You really got a strong sense of where he came from, and it really helps frame um, the type of person that he was, which is a wonderful, well-intentioned, uh, uh, same as the rest of us, wounded person with his, mm. his demons and things like that. But he is a kind-hearted, uh, uh, brilliant type of person. And, and, and frankly, you know, because of that, we all attract to each other. Right. So there were a bunch of us like that. And that was our, we had similar values. We had similar mindsets. Uh, you know, we didn't like the answer. No, we love the answer. Yes. And we create our own ideas and, you know, by its peak at 60 million users and 2 million concurrent, which was the size of AOL at the time. Wow. Uh, there were probably six of us committing code to the back end. Six, six people. Where were you when you guys got slammed? Do you remember the moment when like the big lawsuit came in, the first big one? Where were you guys? And that was a, it... That's not the moment that, that lingers in my memory. The moment okay. that lingers in my memory was when Lars Ulrich showed up. Uh, for, actually, his lawyer showed up with Lars Ulrich in tow uh, at, the, at the, the, the foot of our offices at the time, 4 West 4th Avenue, the Union Bank of California building in San Mateo, uh, and assembled uh, an audience like none other. Uh, and just gave a press conference there, and they delivered uh, the 60,000 or so names that they had printed on dot matrix printer in landscape mode in order to make the amount of paper just a colossal amount of paper. Yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the moment where so you So he sort delivers of like, all this crap. paper and says, I want my money for these tracks, or these are the people stealing? You got to block these users. Block these users. Block these users. And that sort of kicked off the craziness. Right. But even through that, at least from my point of view, like we slept underneath our desks, we had pillows, and we'd wake up in the office and then go right back to it. Uh, it was this amazing, glorious time. And, and what really made that tick wasn't a business model. It wasn't uh, executive management. It was Fanning and me and people like us in our little subculture within the company, right? right. And, and you got to keep in mind, though, all this happened uh, before engineers were placed on pedestals. Right. And so one of the reasons why I don't think, wh one of the contributing factors to why I think NAFTA failed, other than the government, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is that that company evolved so quickly under so many pressures and stresses without truly fundamentally understanding what made that technology successful, which was the people. The people. Not people were the willing. tech. So to your opening yeah. point, there right. are two categories. Like, is it the business opportunity? Is it the founder? Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm definitely more in the earlier bucket. When If you have the right team, a great team, not a right. good team, but a great team. Elite. Uh, it, we don't have to use that word. We say, um, you know, what makes all relationships successful, whether they're personal, professional, romantic? At the, at the core, it's all the same. It's my value system. Mm -hmm. Do we believe in the same things? Do we have the same mindset? Do we have the same ethos? Huh. If we share all of that, there ain't shit we can't do. Right. A great team can take a mediocre idea and turn it into something. Right. And a good or pivot. Team, yeah. uh, that's my, my point exactly. Sure. And a, a, a dysfunctional team, the average team, the common right. team, will take the, take the next Facebook and F it up 100% of the time. Right. It's guaranteed. So to me, I think it always starts around team. And that was one of the really accidental successes of Napster was right. that the engineering culture, which was super, super tight knit and kind of insulated and isolated from yeah. everything else going on, really made that thing. But then forward. when you put this business motive and you bring a bunch of business heads in, and, who, and lawyers and lawyers who just want to make a huge amount of bank and they're looking the at it, how do I ride did. this I, I don't think that's what actually would happen though no okay Tell I me. think what happened was we were under attack very early uh, we had lots of ambitions we had lots of ideas mm -hmm. right uh, but but we put a lawyer in charge uh, the, uh, who is that Hank uh, Hank Barry Hank Barry you know, a, a, a fine person sure right but just abstractly if we know to be head of a startup, uh, let alone the the very first rocket ship startup of its kind, right. you have to be a risk taker. Right. And just on paper, lawyers are not risk takers. Sure. If you put a lawyer in charge of Airbnb, they'd be like, Restrict, uh, this looks isolate. like a 30% chance that we'll get in trouble. Let's so not let's start try. not doing that. Exactly. Yeah, let's not do it. 
Hey everybody, I want to tell you about one of the world's greatest products. You know it, it's WordPress. 27% of the world's websites run on, you guessed it, WordPress.com. And I have been friends with the founder, Matt Mullenweg, for a long time. I met him when he was a teenager, just starting to make this amazing content management system, blog software, incredible product. I use it for Calacanis.com, and I have done so since the inception of Calacanis.com. And we use it for This Week in Startups, this very program. Why should you use WordPress? Well, 350 easy-to-use themes for any type of business portfolio or blog. And they feature 24-hour support. And you can use them to make your small business website, not just calacanis.com, not just this podcast, but also your small business website. And new this year, create and publish your own VR content, that's virtual reality, using a WordPress.com site starting with 360 degree photos or 360 degree videos. This is all the rage. If you start playing with these cameras, you should start putting up these 360 degree vi video views. You're gonna get more traffic and you can do it on wordpress.com. You can view your regular photos easily and your panoramas in VR. Matt Mullenweg has been on the program a bunch of times. He's an amazing founder and so many developers are building interesting products and plugins and extensions to WordPress that you'll never ever be left hanging with it not having a feature. And in fact, you can find usually multiple different vendors creating plugins for WordPress. It's all kinds of delightful stuff. It is an amazing product and WordPress is offering 27% off your premium or business plan. 27% of the sites on the internet are running it and you'll get 20%, 7% off. Visit wordpress.com slash twist. wordpress.com slash twist and create your small business website today. Welcome to the program WordPress. Thanks so much for supporting independent media like This Week in Startups. And when you go to thisweekinstartups.com, know that it is an amazing WordPress site. Okay, let's get back to this awesome episode. Yeah. 